How to downgrade to older or previous Safari version. I. Stop automatic Mac updates. You can stop automatic Mac updates if they choose to do so. Here are the steps to follow. Open the System Preferences app on your Mac. Click on the Software Update option. Click on the Advanced button at the bottom of the window. Uncheck the box next to Check for Updates. Optionally, you can also uncheck the box next to Download new updates when available. Close the Software Update window. Path, Apple Logo System Preferences Software Update, and turn off the Automatically Keep My Mac Up To Date option. After completing these steps, your Mac will no longer automatically check for or download updates. However, it's important to note that this can leave your system vulnerable to security issues, so it's generally recommended to keep your Mac up to date with the latest software updates. If you choose to turn off automatic updates, be sure to check for updates manually on a regular basis to ensure that your system is protected. 2. Restore with Time Machine Backup Restoring your Mac with a Time Machine Backup is a fairly simple process. Here are the steps you need to follow, connect your external hard drive that contains the Time Machine Backup to your Mac. Restart your Mac and hold down the Command plus R keys until you see the Apple logo. This will boot your Mac into recovery mode. From the menu bar at the top of the screen, select Restore from Time Machine Backup. Select the Time Machine Backup disk that you want to restore your Mac from. Select the backup you want to restore from. You can choose the latest backup or an earlier one if necessary. Select the disk where you want to restore the backup to. This should be your Mac startup disk. Click Restore and wait for the process to complete. This may take some time depending on the size of your backup. Once the restore process is complete, your Mac will reboot and should be restored to the state it was in at the time of the backup. Note that any changes made to your Mac after the backup was created will not be present in the restored version. It's always a good idea to back up your data regularly using Time Machine so that you can easily restore your Mac in case of any issues. 3. Downgrade Mac OS Downgrading your Mac OS to a previous version can be useful if you encounter compatibility issues or other problems with the current version. However, note that this process involves erasing your hard drive and reinstalling an older version of Mac OS, so be sure to back up all your important files before proceeding. Here are the steps to downgrade your Mac OS. 1. Create a backup of your current data using Time Machine or another backup method. 2. Download the Mac OS version that you want to install from Apple's website or from the Mac App Store. 3. Create a bootable installer of the Mac OS version that you want to install. This can be done using the terminal app and a USB drive. Instructions can be found on Apple's support website. 4. Connect the USB drive with the bootable installer to your Mac. 5. Restart your Mac and hold down the option key as it starts up. 6. Select the USB drive with the bootable installer as the startup disk. 7. Follow the on-screen instructions to erase your hard drive and install the older version of Mac OS. 8. Once the installation is complete, you can restore your data from the backup you created in step 1. Note that downgrading your Mac OS can sometimes cause compatibility issues with newer apps and devices, so be sure to research any potential problems before proceeding. Additionally, it's important to keep your operating system up to date to ensure that your Mac is protected against security threats and other issues.